Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am going to be doing a Little Mix inspired makeup look. So for any of you that saw the X Factor this week, which I'm pretty sure like most of you will have done, you'll have seen Little Mix perform their new song live and it was amazing. Like I am a massive Little Mix fan anyway, but when I saw Perry's makeup I was just like it was just like, I knew that I had to do it for my channel because it was, it's quite a simple look really, but it just looks so like, I just flipping loved it. So after I saw their performance, I watched their video, which I think was released last night at midnight um, for their new song, which is Shout Out To My Ex. I'll leave the video down below if any of you haven't seen it because it's amazing. It's I mean, they're all just, I just love them so much. So once I saw the video and she had this makeup on again with like the braids and everything um, and I just knew that I had to look like her. So like all of Little Mix have amazing style and like as a cohesive group, they look amazing. But Perry, there's just something about Perry and like the way that like her makeup is so like earthy and she's a little bit hippie and I just, I just love it so much. So today's video is going to be a recreation of that look that she wore in the X Factor and in their new music video. So if you want to see how to get the makeup look that I am wearing right now, then just keep watching. So as always, I'm starting off this makeup look using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde and I'm just making sure to keep my eyebrows really really thick and fluffy like Perry likes to do hers. I'm then taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 and I'm just using this to prep my eyes ready for the rest of our eyeshadow. And then just blending it out and then using a little bit of the RCMA No Colour Powder just to set that concealer in place and to make sure our shadows blend beautifully. And then I'm taking the Morphe 12 MB palette and I'm just using this brown shade to start deepening out that crease area. So this is really just to outline where we want all those smoky shadows to start. So I'm just making sure that the eye is really really deep set like Perry's is as well. I'm then taking this more warm toned brown and this is just going to go over the top and really start to create that very very smoky eye that Perry has. At this point I am really focusing on blowing out those eyeshadows. I'm then just taking this much more terrible terracotta orange shade and this is really just going to help warm up the eye and really give it that bohemian feel to the makeup look. I'm then taking Coco Pear by Makeup Geek and again this is going to help warm up the eye and I'm just placing this on the outer portion of the eye slightly underneath the crease and slightly into the crease and this is just going to help bring all those eyeshadows together really cohesively. I'm then taking the Stila Soul palette and I'm using the shade Being and I'm just going to use this on the outside portion of my eye and just slightly into the crease and this is really going to deepen up that smoky look and make it much more sultry and dramatic. It's really going to add a lot of depth to the eye as well and I am just adding it to that inner corner to give it more of a bohemian feel. I'm then just taking the MUA Heaven and Earth palette which is stunning and I'm just using this light gold shade and I'm just popping that right in the centre of our eye just to give that kind of bare space which we've left with nothing there just a little bit of a pop of colour and shimmer. I'm then taking the Radial Smoky Eye Pen Pencil in the shade Black and I'm just using this to run across my upper lash line. I really wouldn't worry about making this perfect because what we really want to do is buff it out with a brush to make it super super smoked out. So I'm using quite a stiff brush to really get those uh, the eyeliner to really look very very smoky. I'm then using that same golden shade from the MUA palette just gradually over the top of that liner to make it really really buffed out and perfect. I'm then taking that dark black shade from the same Stila palette and I'm just popping that over the top of where we've popped that eye pencil um, just to really deepen out the lash line. I'm then just using a baby wipe to whip away all the excess and give us a nice clean line for the application of the rest of our makeup. I'm then just taking the Legendary Lashes Mascara by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm blacking out our lashes ready for the application of false lashes. And the false lashes that I'm going to be using today are the Farrah Lashes by Huda Beauty and these are the most gorgeous, 
just bohemian, long, fluffy, wispy lashes that I have just ever seen in my life and I am absolutely obsessed with them. I have been wearing them pretty much like non-stop since I got them. They are just absolutely stunning and perfect for this like very bohemian and edgy kind of smoky, sultry look that we're doing today. Um, so I really wanted to use these because I knew that they would be perfect for this look. I'm then just taking this Born This Way foundation by Too Faced and this is in the shade Porcelain and I'm just dotting, dotting this all over my face and blending it out making sure it's nice and seamless and there are no kind of harsh, harsh lines or edges making sure I go right down my neck and then just taking that same Maybelline Fit Me concealer um, in the shade 10 and I'm just brightening up my under eye area and blending it out using a blending sponge and then setting that all in place with the RCMA No Color Powder and this just makes sure that my um, concealer does not crease at all all day. I also use the RCMA a powder um, to set my foundation um, just to make the look look super super matte because Perry is very very matte in this video and then just brushing away the excess uh, however I do then go back in with a little bit more of the RCMA no color powder just underneath my cheeks on the top of my cheeks sorry um, just to catch any fallout that happens from the rest of the eyeshadow application and then just taking Coco Bear again and I'm using this as the shade that we're going to use to blend in the matte black once we've got our eyeliner on and this is just going to really help make all the lower liner blend in together and look super super gradient and blown out and just like flawlessly just mm, gorgeous and I'm just making sure that I take it right up to um, where the top eyeshadow um, connects I'm then taking that same radial eyeshadow and I'm just uh, popping it in my waterline just to make everything super super black. I'm then going over the top with that same matte black. I think this is the shade Essence from that Stila palette and I'm just pressing this over the top of the black eyeliner and then bringing it gradually down um, into that Cocoa Bear colour and I'm just doing this very very gradually to make sure that it's just super super smoked out and there are no harsh lines and it's just seamlessly blended because this is really the key in this um, Perry Edwards look. This is very much her signature type of makeup look. I'm then taking the Super Size Fat Lash Mascara by Collection and I'm just adding a little bit to my lower lashes just to make them really, really bold and stand out. And then just getting rid of all that fallout that um, came off onto our uh, RCMA No Colour Powder. I'm then taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and I'm using this contour shade and I'm kind of using this as a bronzer and a contour at the same time. So I'm kind of putting it into onto the underneath of my cheekbones just to really carve out the cheeks but I'm also then taking it onto my forehead and really focusing on getting it into my hairline and then around the size of my face and that's just going to give us that very, very very intense bronze look that Perry has going on in this video. I'm then taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle and I'm just giving us a really really subtle highlight on the tops of our cheeks and then I'm taking it onto my temples as well just because I just love the way that that looks and I'm also taking it down the bridge of my nose and making sure that's super super intense and then taking it onto my cupid's bow and again making sure that that is really really intense. I'm then taking this MAC Strip Down Liner and I'm not overlining my lips I'm just kind of providing that base for an ombre lip colour that Perry rocks all the time. I just absolutely love it. So I just gradually, well, slightly fill in my lips with that and then I go over the top with the Yash uh, lipstick by MAC and I'm just using this to fill in the rest of my lips because these colours are quite similar. Um, to really create the ombre, I then use the Trifle Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Exotic Fruits and this is the cutest packaging and I just use this really, really pale colour um, in the centre of my lips to really emphasize that ombre and create a much more nude shade on the lips rather than a brown. I'm then taking these little silver stars which I picked up from the card factory and I'm just using a little bit of eyelash glue and all I'm doing here is sticking them down to just underneath my lower lash line but I'm making sure to use my pupils uh, to make sure that I get the stars perfectly central. And this is the finished makeup look and I hope you love it as much as I do. So that is the end of today's video and I am so sad that I am now going to have to go back to being Alice Jackson and not Perry Edwards because... <laughs> I just love the way this looks so flippin' much. <laughs> so as always, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video and watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give me a math... <laughs> don't forget to give me a math... <laughs> I've just done it again. 
don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Um, any suggestions that you would like to see me do on this channel, please just leave them down below and I'll try and get them done for you as always. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.